This video is brought to you by my wonderful patrons. Come join us at patreon.com slash milky tea ASMR. See you there. Oh, hey, over here. Yeah, take a seat. I'm so glad you were able to make it. Don't worry, I, I haven't been waiting long. You're only a few minutes late. And anyway, I would easily be willing to wait hours and hours if it meant I get to look forward to a romantic dinner date with you like this. Seriously, I'm sure so many girls would kill for this opportunity. I know I would. So, what do you think of this place's atmosphere? It's pretty good, right? A bit dimly lit, and they even have candles everywhere. They've even got roses as decorations. They've got good taste, I think. I think the candles are actually scented too, actually. It's pretty subtle and not too overpowering. That's attention to detail. Do you like the smell? Oh, you do, do you? Well, then maybe I'll have to wear a scent like this. I'll ask the owner what the scent is called and see if there's a perfume like it. It's not a problem, really, because they're relative, actually. Oh, I promise I didn't choose this place out of nepotism, though. The food is great. I've personally tried it and can vouch for it. No matter what you order, you'll love it. I guarantee it. All the reviews are great. Almost all of them are five stars, and none of them are fake. And they aren't violating any health codes either. You know, there's no rats or cockroaches in the back or anything like that. I should know, I've been back there. It's all 100% clean and proper and healthy. It has to be, if you're going to be dining here. You know, you would not believe how many restaurants are not nearly as sanitary as you think. And we can't be having you eat at a restaurant like that, because you deserve proper care. I can't guarantee you proper care at any other place. And I really doubt they'd give it to you if I left it up to them. Others just don't care enough about that. I'm the only one who cares about you. I'm the only one who truly loves you. I'm the only one who will protect you and keep you safe and give you love and affection and make you feel special. No one loves you like I do. No one. No one. No one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I zone out a bit there? Sorry, I'm a bit of an airhead. <laughs> I hope I didn't worry you or anything. Right? You'd expect more people to be here. I mean, <laughs> this place is pretty famous, actually. Fancy food reviewers come here all the time. But looks like it's just us here. Imagine that. Oh well, I guess that just means the two of us won't be disturbed. Oh, no, it's it's okay. Don't worry about the price. Sorry, I know, as soon as you opened up the menu, you must have been in for a shock. I mean, look at these prices. You'd think we'd be eating with golden utensils with prices like these, but don't worry about the price. Okay? No matter how expensive it is, I'll pay for it. I, I don't want you to have to worry about money tonight. I just want you to enjoy the food, enjoy the atmosphere, and hopefully enjoy my company. So, do you have any idea what you want to order? Do you want to just order one big thing and then split it? You know, we could split the soft-shell crab, the harumaki, a life together, or maybe the Kobe beef. Hmm? 
No, I didn't, I didn't say anything like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, okay. How about we can just get the love boat for two? What do you think about that? Wouldn't it be so romantic? I mean, it's got love right in the name. What do you mean you don't want to get the love boat for two? Don't you love me? I've done everything for you. I threatened all your neighbors to paint their houses your favorite color. We were meant to be together. Hmm? Sorry, I guess I was zoning out again. <laughs> like I said, I'm just a bit of an airhead is all. Mm, maybe we should get the Oyakodon. You know, it literally translates to parent and child because there's chicken and egg. So it's like the parent chicken and it's child are both in the bowl together. Which is kind of messed up now that I think about it. <laughs> like, you're eating the child. Anyway, I think we should have a child. I mean, the child. You know, the Oyakodon. Oh, would you look at that? They also have Kone Sushi. We could get that. They take these deep fried thin slices of tofu and they use that to make a cone, sort of like an ice cream cone. And then they put all the other ingredients inside it. This kind of sushi was started by this one family in Hawaii, actually. It's a huge family, if I remember correctly. The couple had like a million kids. Anyway, I think it's a great idea. The cone sushi is nice too. Yeah, sure. We could go for that. We'll split it then. Um, what about drinks, though? Do you just want water, or are you in the mood for something else? Do you even want a drink? Or are you thirsty? <laughs> because I'm certainly thirsty. Uh, I was thinking about getting the sake, actually. But maybe I shouldn't be having alcohol. I am driving home, after all. <laughs> Besides, I'm already drunk enough on you. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I said, besides, I already drunk enough for two. <laughs> you know, like, I had enough alcohol for two people earlier today. Maybe I shouldn't be driving, actually. Maybe you should take me home. To my home, I mean. As in, drive me to my home, because I certainly shouldn't be driving. Not like this. But I suppose it was a while since I had those drinks, so there's probably not any alcohol in my system now. I think I'm good to drive now that I think about it. Which means... I can be the designated driver if you want. So, it's fair game for you to have a few drinks. Then I could take you home. <sighs> no, you're not going to have any alcohol? <sighs> okay, okay. That's fine. I'm not disappointed or anything. It's fine. It's fine. So, um, then, are we all ready to order? Are you in the mood for any side dishes? <laughs> I hope not, because you better not have anyone on the side. I mean, you better not have anything on the side, because we've already ordered so much food. Uh, you know, we should have some moderation. <laughs> How much can two people even eat? I think we should just order as is. Okay. Okay. That sounds good to me. Uh... Excuse me. Waitress, what do you think you're doing? I said, what do you think you're doing? You come up 
to us, giving my date those stupid puppy dog eyes, and you have the audacity to act all innocent? Do you flirt with every man you see? And and you're not you're, you're on the job too. Why are you even here? The owner specifically assured me that there would be no female servers today. We signed a contract and everything. I've even got a copy on me. So why the hell are you here? Yeah, you go do that. Talk to your boss and don't bother coming back. Make sure to tell her to send me a mail waiter who won't hit on my date this time. <sighs> I'm so sorry. You had to see that. Some people just don't have common sense. Who hits on a guy while he's with his date? I can't believe it. She lacks such basic common etiquette to do something like that. I hate it. It drives me up the wall. I can't stand it. But... But we shouldn't let that get us down. Our date night doesn't have to be ruined. Let's just continue and enjoy our night and do dinner date things. We can still have fun. We could ask each other questions. Things like favorite colors, favorite movies, do you lock all your windows, that sort of thing. Okay, okay, you go first. Woo woo, no, 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 <laughs> I want to go first. There's so much I want to ask you. Um, where should I begin? Um, should I ask about how you feel about rope? Maybe you'd like a small wedding or a large one? Um, oh, I know. Do you have a criminal record? Wow. Really? You, you don't? Just me, huh? That was a joke, of course, because <laughs> I never got caught. And that was another joke. <laughs> because I don't commit crimes. Sorry, my <laughs> my sense of humor is a bit weird. It's it's definitely a bit of an um acquired taste. You don't you don't seem very amused. Uh um so uh what sort of music do you listen to? Personally, I only listen to you. The, the band. It's it's a band. The name of the band is called You. I'm not saying I listen to you, as in I listen to recordings of your footsteps as a form of music while I do chores around the house or anything. That would be weird. It... It would... be weird. R right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> right. I, I knew that. I, I was just checking. <laughs> so, uh... What sort of music do you listen to? Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, cool. That's some very solid taste you've got there. So, just out of curiosity, do you have a home security system? You know, cameras and alarms and that sort of thing. I, I was just wondering because I care about you and I was worrying if you were safe is all. I don't know what I'd do if I saw in the news that someone broke into your house. I mean, what if they hurt you? You need to be safe. That's why I think you should have a home security system, even if it makes things more difficult for me. D difficult for me to, <laughs> to worry about your safety because you'd be so safe. I mean. Woo. Jeez. Oh, Do you feel like it's kind of hot in here? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm personally, wow, sweating buckets. Woo. Excuse me for a moment. I think I'll go to the restroom and wash up just a bit. Oh, and, um, one more thing. 
Don't talk to the waitress if she comes back. <laughs>